Our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons, is in Butcher, just outside the cemetery. He joins me on the line now. Uh, Rob, tell us a bit more about where you are and what it is you've witnessed today. Yeah, well, as you say, 21 people have been buried today. Uh, unidentified remains. You can see over there... Uh, where, where the uh, graves are. Uh, they were brought from the Butcher Morgue where they've been held uh, in frozen conditions for the last four months or so whilst investigators tried to find, to match up their DNA with DNA of relatives living in uh, Butcher. But uh, so far, for these ones at least, that's proven not possible. In the meantime, though, each grave is marked with a number so that if the investigation into the DNA comes up with some answers, the relatives will be notified and they can come and move their relatives or loved ones uh, to graveyards of their own choice. But in the meantime, that's the way things remain. Uh, we witnessed the burial. Very strange because there were no relatives here. Just a group of journalists and representatives from the town council of Bucha, plus a priest who came to say the last rites over these bodies. It was important, he said, even though I don't know the names of those who are buried here, they are human beings nevertheless, and it's important that I should be here and, and say, give the last rites to them and say prayers over them. Uh, but you know, for, for all the people who are still grieving in Bucha, you know, it's symbolic. Uh, of the terrible pain they're suffering since that massacre in Butcher back in March, when over 430 people were killed, many of them women and children. Uh, no closure for them as yet. They will be hoping that the investigations into the DNA will throw up some answers. In May, there was a French team here who managed to identify 17 of those bodies. But the Ukrainians themselves lack the sophistication uh, of the French teams that were here. It's going to take them much longer. But they say they will eventually get there. Well, talking of that investigation, Rob, how much progress is being made towards some kind of potential war crimes trial for what happened uh, in Bucha? Well, it's going to be very, very difficult, Nadia. The, the Ukrainians say they've identified over 16,000 cases. But it's one thing to identify a case and another thing to come up with sufficient evidence and then go further and actually manage to bring those guilty to court. Bear in mind that many of those people that we're talking about, who the Ukrainians regard as guilty, are still serving in the Russian army. Many of them in the Donbass uh, currently, where they're fighting against Ukrainians. Some may have gone back to their bases inside Russia itself, where it's very unlikely they'll ever be brought to justice by the Ukrainian authorities. Rob Parsons uh, in Butcher, Ukraine. Thank you very much.